As part of my spring preparation series for the Turpin Canic YouTube channel, I want to talk about when to start putting fertilizer down in the spring. Hello, cat. At the end of winter, it's not uncommon to have grass that looks a little bit like this. A little bit of green, mostly a little bit of dingy brown coming up. The thing is, as the air temperatures start warming up, slowly that soil starts warming up as well. As the air temperature and the soil temperatures warm up, the grass starts wanting to wake up. However, it's not quite ready yet until the soil is till around 40 degrees. When it comes to fertilizers, you can't put fertilizers down on the ground when the ground is frozen. So what I use is a compost thermometer that I use for the lawn. Uh, they're very inexpensive. You can probably get them at your local Home Depot or any other big box store. After checking your soil temperatures and you find that the first couple of inches of soil in your lawn is up around 40 degrees during the day and no lower than 35 at night, then you might want to consider your first applications of fertilizer. It is best, however, to wait until the soil temperatures get up to around 45 during the day and maybe 40 at night. Even if your ground isn't frozen, the grass doesn't really want to grow until the soil temperatures get back up at least into the mid 40s. Certainly, you're not even going to get seed germination until upper 40s, if not into the 50s. If you live in a warmer climate where it doesn't really get frozen, you might be able to get away with fertilizing earlier in the year, possibly in the late winter. A lot of it has to do with the sunlight. The amount of sunlight that we get on October 31st is the same amount of sunlight that we get on roughly the 10th of February. So most lawns do grow just fine all the way to Halloween. So a good ballpark estimate for adequate lighting for your grass type will be somewhere around February 10th. Of course, that is completely going to be determined by the actual weather that's outside. Anyway, I hope that helped. This is a short video. It's a segment to my entire spring lawn care series, which is coming out. There are an enormous amount of mistakes people do in their lawn preparing for the spring lawn care season. And there are a number of things that people should be doing that, that they might not think to do. I hope that you follow along the journey, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.